Yeah, I'm Harry and I play keyboards. I'm Tommy, I'm the lead singer. I'm Joe, I play guitar. I'm Jack, I play guitar. I'm Joe, I play bass. I'm Sam, I play drums. Can you tell the old story? Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you want to start? Basically, we just... Can't... Well, I don't know, we just sure. play... Me and Sam are basically stepbrothers. Yeah. And uh, we're two sets of friends from two different schools, from two different sides of the town we live in, so... Sam sort of brought me and Harry in. Yeah, we, like yeah, we're already playing. We we're already playing <laughs> sort of the band with Sam, and then these two just sort of tagged along one day, and it scouted well. So. Yeah, scouted. Yeah, scouted by Sam. Yeah, over there. <laughs> so yeah, that was just kind of the storm, short bit. It's fun. Yeah, wicked. It's really okay. cool. Such an amazing experience. Yeah. Just have this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, how did you find it? Weird. Uh, yeah, it's quite daunting at the start, but as soon as you get into it, it's just sort of it's another another gig really. Just playing in front of a load of people, which is just an amazing experience and good fun. So it's great. It's good when they bring up like the house lights because you can't really see with the lighting on you. You can't really see about you see about four or five rows ahead um, from the stage. But when they bring the head house lights up, you can sort of see the four and a half thousand or whoever, and, then you, and that's kind of like whoa. Everything. Every show's yeah, got its own little like special thing about it. That we, every show's been different. It's not just been like, right, this is the set sorted now. We can do that all the time. And there's not been one standout. It's just all had their sort of special thing about them. Yeah. Another thing that's special is that the fact that we've kind of like grown. Like in in this week, I feel like we've like learnt like so much more than we would have like six months just like carrying on as we were. So we've learnt so much, and like our set is now like. We can just do it anywhere, anytime, in front of anyone. It feels really like quick and like spot on at the moment. Yeah, it's really like harmonious. It's really good. Um, we did it in the shed in Guildford, like really sort of low-fi sort of thing. Oh, sorry, I'm the wrong EP. Sorry, I've got, got, I've got the wrong EP. Got it. It's basically, yeah. we started recording the album and then um, Drink Not To Play was one of the tracks that we um, recorded during that album process. So, um, yeah, it was kind of in conjunction with recording the rest of the album. So. Okay. And then the rest of the songs on the EP are just um, remixes, really. Mm. Yeah. Three, like, quite different remixes. So. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this band has got a different influence on their on their on their sound. So that's kind of like one of the reasons why it's just working for us at the moment because you can't really pinpoint one sort of or pigeonhole one sort of sound. If you dissect it, you probably could. But then, of course, because we work with Dan, who um, has done some amazing acts, he he puts his influence on it as well and his kind of vibe on, on our music, I guess. So it's all kind of. Yes, it's kind of influences which we might not necessarily have, but he has as well, which is put into as well, which just, just adds more to the sort of melting pot of ideas. Um, for us, like in the headline show, Drink, Dance, Play is the song that kind of stands out. Um, we just have like when we do play our headline shows, like when we're lucky enough to get like I don't know, 500 kids in there, they all just go absolutely nuts. But in front of these like thousands and stuff, we feel that um, songs like Breakout and Lights, because they offer more of like a rockier like vibe, it will suit it suits these like these, like these, the crowd and it suits kind of the bidding that we're on. So that they go down the best actually, definitely. That, that was nuts, that was really cool. Um, in terms of like production and like art, the way we like play our songs and like individually, we've all kind of stepped up and so it's great to go back to London and show them like what we've been doing and how we've improved as a band. And we even, we had like confetti and stuff like that. I mean, you'll see the pyrotechnics tonight for UB6, it's not quite that standard, but uh, yeah, we, we kind of, we had like big balloons and stuff like that. Uh, so everything we kind of did, we stepped up and it felt, it felt like, and it, it felt amazing that night. It felt like nothing could go wrong. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. like our surrogate hometown, really. Yeah. It's weird. It's, it's always been like that as well since we started. Going to London, especially, it's sort of like where we've done the best.
Um, for me, I think maybe the Guildford boiler room. I think every time, the last time we went there anyway, we sold like treble what we thought we were going to sell. And there was just loads of kids and they were just going nuts. I mean, obviously, like, as you can imagine, it's quite close to London. So like we say, our, London's kind of our like central hub and our surrogate home. I think we, we branched out further into, into like these kind of places like Guildford and slightly like Oxford and stuff like that. So Guildford, I'm really looking forward to. Um, I guess we're playing in Ireland and Northern Ireland. Yeah, really Ireland. looking forward to that. Oh, because we've our never first been there Irish shows, so. That'd be great to get out there finally. Cause it's been so long. I mean, been a band for like two a bit years, so it'd be great to go and like see like the fans that want to come along and sing along. Um, mm. You too. For us, yeah, we were uh, we were in Love Crouch too, yeah. End yesterday doing a session for like day trotter. And apparently, um, like you two were around the area and stuff. Yeah, and the studio next door or something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Man, amazing. That was nuts. So, yeah. yeah, you two kind of billing would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, I'd say Rihanna. Rihanna, yeah, like yeah. Katy Perry or something. That'd be, <coughs> that'd be sick. <coughs> Wonder tours. That'd, that'd be really sick. sick. I'd love that. Yeah. Into the uh, festival well. season, yeah. Um, we've got loads of festivals we're playing, and they're all offers are coming in every day, really, so we can't <laughs> say for definite like what what we are playing <coughs> just yet. But I know there'll be quite a few all through the summer, and then and maybe look at an album release, and then just load yeah. the touring really until the end of the year, just okay. tour non stop. Hopefully, another support tour as well by a couple by the end of the year. Yeah, so. yeah that'd be sweet. And also, obviously, we, we've got another single already. Think as, as this new one's come out, Help Yourself, we've got another one in the back of our minds and like writing just in case anything else pops up. But you'll be expecting definitely another single to kind of get us through the summer, like 100%.